Kamala Harris's historic victory put this small village in southern India on the map. This is where her ancestors were from. And among locals here, there is a palpable sense of pride in all that she has achieved. One among us, they have risen to that level of uh, VP candidate. This temple as well as the village has reached a prominent place in the, all over the world. It's on this beach in the southern city of Chennai that Harris remembers taking morning walks with her grandfather, someone she calls one of her favorite people. As a child, she visited the city a few times. The roots are here. Her mother is from uh, this place. And, uh, and she has achieved something phenomenal. A uh, person of Indian origin becoming a vice president is really something great. And uh, I believe this can happen only in the US. The vice president-elect's uncle remembers fondly the time he spent with her. When she was very young, a playful child, very inquisitive. But I saw her as serious <coughs> with the intent in public life, only when she ran for the district attorney. I said she was very focused and intelligent and had values and stuck to it. The Hindu right, however, isn't celebrating. There are concerns about the Democrats' position on some of India's domestic policies. She will be constantly uh, siding with these uh, leftist elements in our country who make out every incident uh, as a genocide, as a snuffing of, uh, of democracy, uh, as, uh, you know, uh, um, a Muslim targeting. She may be very pro-Indian, but she is not going to be pro-BJP or very well inclined to the Indian government. In India, all eyes will be on Harris when she takes up her role in the new year.